Well, away from coronavirus, one other big story tonight. The child sex abuse inquiries heard that young lives in Leicester were blighted by a cover-up to protect an MP. The three weeks of hearings have finished looking at why it took years to prosecute Greville Janner. Today, there's been an apology from Leicestershire's police chief, as our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. A prominent MP accused of serious crimes, three decades of investigations and denials, and today a damning verdict on behalf of 34 people who told the police Lord Janner had abused them. There was a perfect storm failure by police, CPS and social services and blighted the lives of my clients. The pandemic meant these Janna hearings had to move online. Today, one lawyer for his accusers said the peer was protected and there was a suspicious reticence to investigate. Investigations were oddly incurious, culpably feeble and prematurely terminated. Chair you should call this what it is, a cover-up, which is an attempt to conceal the truth about a mistake or crime. Lord Janna died shortly after being charged with 22 historical child sex offences that robbed nine alleged victims of a trial they've been hoping for for years. Lord Janna's own children are convinced he was innocent. They say the inquiry's been a proxy trial against a dead man who can't defend himself, Today, their barrister said Lord Janna's accusers either lied or named the wrong man after many years. Before you is the very real risk that vulnerable people who may have been abused have many years later transposed their pain and need for recompense onto Janna. But today, mistakes were admitted by the Labour Party, which said there should have been policies for reporting child sex abuse. Leicestershire County Council said children who did come forward weren't listened to, a culture that's now changed. And Leicestershire's chief constable accepted the force failed during three earlier police investigations. Lord Janna could and should have been investigated more thoroughly and faced prosecution earlier than 2015. The chief constable apologises wholeheartedly on behalf of Leicestershire Police. And a recommendation today to learn lessons from a children's home scandal in Nottinghamshire with a call for a national rollout of a new survivor support service there. The inquiry was asked to conclude that Lord Janner, a member of the establishment, was protected by the establishment. Its findings on lessons that need to be learnt should be published next autumn. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.